doktor nga. Asa na siya? Ayun, ayun. <laughs> Kala naman lang wala ka na <laughs> Siya si Dr. Rizal Welcome, Dr. Alberto Please Nolido. Yan, pulmonologist in St. Luke's Medical Center, Global City. Ika, Dok, upo ka muna na ako sa, sa bahay. Mm -hmm. Punik punik ya. tayo. Yan, okay. I-introduce ko lang siya sa inyo, ha, yung kanyang background. Yan. Si Doc ay graduate ng medicine. Hindi ko nasasabihin kung anong Tantan. year, ha? 1993. <laughs> sa Lapoy. Manila, yan. Diyan sa UST, fellow din siya ng Philippine College of Physicians, fellow ng Philippine College of Chest Physicians, head counsel ng Lung Infection Philippine College of Chest Physicians, and Director Institute and Pulmonary Medicine. Diyan sa St. Luke's Medical Center, Global City. Wow! Good morning po again morning. and welcome to my Good morning. Okay, right now guys, so we're going to talk about emphysema. Mm -hmm. So first and foremost, gusto namin malaman of course yung, talaga, yung real facts about emphysema, Doc. Okay, emphysema is a chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, no? Um, when you say chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, there are two components to that. The chronic bronchitis and emphysema. So there are those na predominantly emphysema, there are those na predominantly chronic bronchitis, there are those that combine. But basically, they fall under the umbrella of mm -hmm. chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Mm -hmm. no? It's an obstruction of the lungs. So, so emphysema, um, basically, it's caused by smoking. Mm -hmm. no? um, that's why we have this campaign against smoking. No? Um, it's caused by smoking. And recent studies show, pati mga biomass fuels. So, mm -hmm. sa atin, madalas tayong Puso yung nagsisiga, 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 tuyong dahon, sinisiga, no? Mga nagbabarbecue. Nag-iihaw-ihaw tayo. So, it has shown that it's also a risk for chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. So, you've mentioned, Doc, ano nga, ang main cause would probably nga yung smoking. But are there any parang genetic composition as well? Yes. For those who get emphysema in a very young age, then most probably they have this alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. It is not very um, documented in our country. Maybe it's rare when it comes to our race, and it's more uh, it's more common among um, the foreign race, no? Mm -mm. Or basically, maybe we're not documenting it well. Mm -mm. But by experience, I don't see a lot of young COPD or emphysema to patients. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about also the the cause, eh, the symptoms mm -hmm. of emphysema. Ano ano po ba yung mga nararamdaman ng isang tao na parang oh my gosh, I have emphysema already. Okay, if you have a risk factor like smoking, no, mm -hmm. the first symptom is actually progressive shortness of breath. Mm -hmm. So I would always ask my patients, pag pag uh, um, bakit bakit yun ang hagdan? Hindi hingal na kayo. Um, so, Hindi ba pwedeng wala lang exercise? Ayun, pwede, no? So, that's why you, <laughs> you have to have yung risk factors. Pag uh -oh. bakit yung hagdan, hinihingal na ba kayo? As Ilang the years go though? by, usually mga one one floor. Okay. Okay, hinihingal na kayo. That, was, that is the first that is the first uh, symptom that oh you have to be aware of. If you smoke, no? if you have risk factors. Kasi sometimes you're just deconditioned, eh. A lot yeah. of us are actually deconditioned. Mm -hmm. That was progressively, pagka lumakad kayo, pagka flat, hinihingal na rin kayo. Tapos napapansin mo, pagka-flat, paiksi na paiksi yung nalalakad mo. Mm -hmm. So again, the term there is progressive shortness of breath through the years. No? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you're a smoker, tapos napansin mo humingi ka sa umakit ng hagdan, then it's time to, it's a red flag already, to see your, to see your doctor. No? Huwag mo nang hintayin yung flat pa lang. Mm -hmm. uh, flat ka na na hinihingan. Pagka mm -hmm. palang na hagdan. Parang okay, yeah. normally, kaya ko to ah. Ba't ngayon parang hinihingan na ako? Mm -hmm. Then, um, that's a sign, no? Of course, uh, chronic coughing, mm -mm. that is more common chronic, the chronic bronchitis mm -hmm. type of COPD. Chronic coughing with purulent phlegm, uh, phlegm production, mm -hmm. no? a lot of phlegm production. May discoloration din sa phlegm. Yeah, uh, discoloration, you know, naging purulent, especially kung infectious ang mm -hmm. phlegm. Um, then, ang ma emphysema to patients, no? as compared to chronic bronchit bronchitic patients, payat. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, mapayat ang, ang mga emphysema to patients. So, makakita kayo yung mga smokers na payat na ah, malalapad yung distance ng bawat rib. Mm -mm -mm. Then, uh, yun, predominantly emphysema yun. Mm -mm. And if you would note yung mga yung nakaganon yung, yung balikat, no? nakataas, nakataas yung balikat. balikat. Because, uh, parang, Tinitingnan ko si Rizal. Parang <laughs> naging, naging, naging barrel <laughs> chest. Eh. Okay, it's so <laughs> it's so <laughs> naging parang ano, yun. So, uh, yun, payat, naging uh, 
widen yung intercoastal spaces, uh, 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 uh. Uh, coughing, and progressive shortness Ang of breath. Ang appetite, may loss of appetite din ba? Yes. No, uh, in a way, there's loss of appetite because smokers, you know, um, smokers nawawala yung sense of taste mo eh. Mm -hmm. no? Sense of taste mo, so nawawala ng gana kumain. They would rather smoke than eat. Mm -hmm. Then, when you're when you have COPD or emphysema, even eating makes you tired. Mm -hmm. Makes you short of breath eventually. Sometimes the event, sometimes you're tired. 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 You're Lagi lang sila nakaupo, mm -hmm. no? Or lagi nakahiga. Lagi the problem there is, if you're always also sitting down, lying down because you're always short of breath, then you have muscle atrophy, yes. naging mm -hmm. decondition ka, so naging vicious cycle yung short of breath. Oh, oh. So you always push your my I always push my patient that you have to exercise. exercise. Mm -hmm. Kasi pagka nagpatalo ka na, lagi ka lang nakaupo, eh. nakahiga, lalo kong hihingalin because again, the fact of being deconditioned would be there. Mm -hmm. That's why there's a role now on pulmonary rehab. Uh, meron na pulmonary rehab ngayon na it has shown that it uh, increases the, the quality of life of emphysema, of emphysema patients. Mm -hmm. Doc, meron kasi mga common misconception. Sinasabi mm -hmm. na pag may emphysema ka, nakakahawa yan kasi ubo ka ng ubo. Mm -hmm. Is that really true? No, it's not nakakahawa. No? Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a structural problem. It's a structural problem. It's an architectural problem of the lungs. No? Uh, so but it's not an infectious bacteria or viral. It's not, an infectious, oh, it's okay. not an infectious ano, uh, disease. Pero kahit na mag-cough ka, yeah. di ba may, may, now, may phlegm? Of course, if you have emphysema, there's also, a, since your, your immune system is low, mm -hmm. yet ka, then you're prone to infectious uh, diseases like mm -hmm. TB, mm -hmm. TB, pneumonia, or, or viral infections. Then, uh, if you cough, then you, there's a possibility you'll be, you'll be spreading airborne, airborne diseases. Mm -mm. But emphysema per se is not nakakahawa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now my question also is, uh, is this treatable? Mm, the treatment of, or once you have COPD, it, it's of COPD and emphysema or chronic bronchitis, the treatment goal is actually um, symptom relief. Mm -hmm. no? We want our patients to be relieved of the shortness of breath so that they could have better quality of life, they could exercise, but for it, for us to treat na to go back to normal, mm -hmm. uh, hindi. So, hindi uh, na babalik yung normal bronchial and yeah, alveoli. It won't, it won't go Forever back ng to, ganun. to normal. Mm -hmm. And it could be progressive. Mm -hmm. no? Mm -hmm. um, sometimes nga, Doc, di ba, you mentioned na parang yung sa mga complications niya, sometimes it would go na rin sa lung cancer. Uh, yeah, uh, oh. because... Um, the risk factor is smoking, no? Mm -mm. So, then, there's a possibility that you're already, you already have COPD, you also have lung cancer because of oh, smoking. Yes. You may also have a, mm -mm. a um, heart disease because of smoking. Mm -mm. No? The question po, um, how come po I've encountered uh, several patients na uh, when they cease uh, smoking, that's when uh, the, the signs and symptoms started to manifest po? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, when, you, when you stop smoking, the first eight weeks, you'll be coughing more. Mm -mm. The first Withdraw eight weeks, in, you'll body. be coughing more with a lot of phlegm. Because when you're smoking, your, your cilia, or yeah, you have a... You have a... The cilia gets paralyzed. So when you stop smoking, that cilia starts moving again. Mm -hmm. So when it starts moving again, then you start cleaning yourself up. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. So uh, for eight weeks, you really start coughing more. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, the smokers get frustrated. Mm -hmm. Kung kailan ako tumigal, kailan ako dupa ako inubo. Yung iba no? na so, you just have to, you just have to clean your, you just, mm -hmm. no, no. explain sa kanila. The, the best turkey. way to, the best way to stop smoking is cold turkey. Cold turkey. Cold turkey. Mm -hmm. Do, when, when, I, let's, I, so, last question, mm -hmm. when do you say that a smoker is a non-smoker already? After how many years of, ano, uh, stop, uh, stopping smoking? They say, studies show, I want to stop smoking, ma five to ten years, pwedeng bumalik na sa, sa normal, no? But, if, since we're talking about emphysema, if you already have emphysema, no, uh, again, you won't go back to normal. Mm -hmm. I was telling her uh, a while ago, at the age of 40, our lung function really goes down. Mm -mm. Okay? It really goes down. That's why when you're, when you're 90, you're just like, 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 you're
really goes down. For emphysema to patients, it goes down rapidly. Yes. So by the time you're 60, hingal na hingal ka na, no? Oh my. No, if you stop smoking, and you stop smoking when you're 50 or 55, then, and consistently stop smoking, it will go back to normal, but the decrease in your lung function would already would follow the the path of a normal normal, of no, normal individual na. So mabagal na ulit. Mm. So your lung your life expectancy would, would be, be longer. longer. Mm. No? Okay. I said there's a there's a critical critical level of um, lung function. Mm. So dapat talaga wag magsusmoke ka na. Then, uh, yun ang pinupush talaga ng mm -hmm. college namin, no? Doc, kasi ba you have this month is lung month. Yeah, Can you month. talk about it? Uh, Every August, we, we celebrate Lung Month. And for the Institute of Pulmonary Medicine, St. Louis Global, we have a event on August 19 and August 20. Mm -hmm. you know? August 19, we'll be Sorry. having a reunion on all our uh, COPD patients who underwent pulmonary rehab. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, galingan nito, for this event, isang pasyente namin na who, went under, who underwent pulmonary rehab will be playing the saxophone for us. No? Wow. So yung may emphysema na siya, May FAC na siya, pero because of pulmonary rehab, he's able to play the saxophone again, no? And August 20 naman, we have a postgraduate course to, we'll be educating the, the internists, the family medicine practitioners on, on, on chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Mm -hmm. Okay, ayan. Marami okay. tayo natutunan about emphysema. Talaga, border, ang bottom line is wag tayo manigaribyo. Diba? Yes. Maraming salamat po sa inyo, Doc. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sana makita ka pa namin ulit. Okay, thank diba? you.